So I think um, one of the biggest problems facing the Caribbean is environmental issues. Because if you look at um, if you look at pollution, for example, like many places you see um, people polluting rivers on the streets and stuff like that, and also environmental degradation. I guess environmental degradation. I think again that stems from GDP because we don't include environmental resources as a measure in GDP and in well-being. Um, and if we don't account for it, then we can't. And if we don't account for it and we don't measure it, then we don't value it. More things should be done to educate the society and population about about the importance of the environment and the impact it plays on on society. And also, the, the government has a major role to play too, in terms of the protection of the environment and and the way people view 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 pollution and stuff like that. The community down by the airport, you know, it's where they build up yeah. the homes and they put people in. I have I had to go there for a reason, and it's basically like you're harboring. You're harboring a new culture breed of the area alongside the bus routes mm -hmm. right. because music is playing loud vulgar you are smelling certain scents you are seeing certain things right in front of your face young children are also among the adults which are involved in the inappropriate activities and there's like this huge grass area where you can build activities for the youths within that area to do nothing the grass is growing tall it's just left there it's like yeah, and that's you have to problem. get rid of the you mindset, just, that poverty mindset. Yeah. Just and that is where area. the education system Stunk. becomes so critical. We, yes. That yeah. is probably like t one of the top three of things to do. We need a complete revamping of our education system. Yeah, it does, Definitely. and it needs to focus on things like the environment, not just maths and English and Spanish Correct. and French. The environment, people does not do not realize, sorry. The impact the environment has on development. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Like global and I was warming because yeah, exactly. Yeah. When global warming hits, the Caribbean is going to be one of the first places this, that's mm -hmm. affected. Yeah. yeah. When it's the rising seas, mm -hmm. it's hot, it's everything, and it's it's. Are we ready for a natural disaster? Yeah. <laughs> when it when Nepal Look just got yeah, out of the seven point eight and. 5,000 people dead. Yeah. If we were to get that kind of earthquake in, in, in the Caribbean, and we're actually on a fault line right now. Mm -hmm. Look at Haiti, happened what, five years ago? Yeah. Put out a statement, we're overdue for an earthquake. Correct, yes. 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 Yeah. Last week, but well, I think poverty is one of the biggest problems in the Caribbean in terms of social and economic. It's a social and economic problem. Up until you have a lot of people who are you know, underemployed, you know, they have no jobs, and that contributes to high crime rates. In the region, so yeah. Instead, Instead of giving a man a fish, you teach him how, how to, to fish. fish. And that's how we get out of poverty as well because we were just we were talking about um, giving poor people housing and all of that, but you're not teaching them how to make a better life for yeah. themselves. Right. Now you're you just see? putting them in, in a house and okay, I'm gonna pay your rent, this is your house, but they still live in, they still have that poverty mindset, and you cannot, the only way to get rid of poverty is to it's get rid of mindset. that poverty <laughs> mindset. Correct. You see, now what, what, we, what I I've tend to, what I see is that we have a lot of short-term intervention. So, for example, the baby grant, which I think is yeah. notable. Yeah. <laughs> However, what are the long-term interventions? Exactly. So that in five years' time, the same mothers you are handing the grants, which again, kudos to you, yeah. they are in a better position sure, to provide exactly. for their exactly. family. Can I give an example? A little boy is like stopped me, right? I have my headphones, so I can hear. He's like, "Mom, mom." I said, like, "Yes." He's like, "Um, can I just have twenty dollars?" So my brother my sister and I could just have lunch in school today mm -hmm. and that broke my heart like I swear I was just like like I gave him I was like he could be using this for bad reasons but at the same time I couldn't believe that his parents sent him off to school today not knowing mm -hmm. how they would but be some parents now they're the what less ones the same yeah. some mm -hmm. parents who genuinely don't have an alternative the thing is if your government will keep padding and exactly. supporting you throughout every stage of your life do you Just really have the motive no, to exa no, exactly no. to get up and get so what's next yeah, you <laughs> yeah. if you're given everything how are you will always expect to be given Easy. anything. You won't have any initiative to say, okay, let me get up and I want to do this. So you'll just be like, yeah, that's gonna come. That's, that's, it's gonna be there. Correct, so you have, yeah. you don't, we don't enforce any, 
initiative, any willpower to say yes, I want to go out today and I'm going to try my best. Like for example, you don't just give people who, like if it's the family, you don't just, it shouldn't be based on family, you know each other, or friends who know each other, it should be based on merit. So if you know you have a degree or you know you have a certain skill, you should be rewarded with the job accordingly and not because you know somebody that will pull you. A lot of trainees, myself included, I will never deny it, want to put a little bit of work in and get a lot of money out for it. And I mean, you could say that's human, eh? but I don't see that evident anywhere else more than in Trinidad. As they, a lot of people don't have customer service, as I want to say, because oh, yeah. even when oh, you that, go yeah. to Huge problem. restaurants, fast food, they don't have that kind that kindness Service. and that's it eh, i know but you see hang on i need to put a plug way. right there yeah. on the customer service it always goes back to what do we accept yeah. so yes. yep. yeah Th this is the conversation i went into kfc man the cash the cashier was so rude to me in two days time you're back, back in the at same yeah. KFC outlet exactly so, so that's the thing there needs to be accountability by what we say really drives us over the edge or angers us in terms yeah. of we need to be able to take a stand so many issues have plagued us let's say over the past 10 years how many prisons have gotten out on the street and said you know what let me go protest about this yeah. mm -hmm. well it's sad now because we've gotten that way people don't start off on like time. i said a child is born in yes. a yes. yes. yeah. you develop exactly. that attitude